1978, what does it mean to you? It was a very special year for me. I graduated in Nazareth High School, started St. John's University, but today we're going to be talking about the Gallup poll that was just released that talks about if buyers think it's a good time to buy. And not since 1978 has consumer sentiment been so low. Only 21% of the people today think that it's a good time to buy. Let's talk about why in this video. Latest data from Redfin is just in, and it's telling us that the real estate market is changing course. Changing course again. As a matter of fact, for the first time in 10 years, real estate prices were down 4.1% as compared to last year. Price will come down. <laughs> the average median price is now $408,000. On the average, the number of homes sold was 26.2% fewer than last year. Wow, that's a lot fewer homes being sold and there are a couple of reasons to it. The first reason and the most obvious reason is affordability. Now we know that homes went up in value over the last few years and that's chasing a lot of people out of the market on its own. However, now the interest rates went up one more time again this week to over 7%, 7.06%. And that's really gonna affect people that are looking to buy today. Interest rates went up this morning by a whopping 20 points sending mortgage rates soaring. According to the latest Realtor report, home prices are in decline mode for the first time in over a decade. They are down 2.2% right now. In California, homes are already depreciated by 16%. But that's not the case all over the country. The Midwest is experiencing a little bit of a boom. You see, buyers have been priced out of their original location, whether it's a New York City area, Florida area, California, and they're going to areas that are more affordable. You can find a home in the Midwest for $180,000 to $220,000, and that's what's happening right now. People are flocking to affordability. With the interest rates being so high, they need to buy something that they can afford, which means the price has to be lower. That's what's happening in the Midwest. I'm a little concerned about the prices going down. Last time it happened was 2008, and that price depreciation lasted for five years. So are we on the beginning of the next decline, or is this just a blip on the radar? Captain, I have an unidentified radar blip. Let's keep our eyes peeled, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now, and stay tuned for upcoming videos that will keep you up to date, so you can make an informed decision if you're looking to buy or sell a home. So another thing we need to look at in the real estate market today is the cost to rent versus the cost to own. And it is less expensive to rent in almost the whole country right now all the major metropolitan areas, and that is what's keeping the buyers away. It costs them a lot less to rent, and that gap has to change. Either the rents are gonna go up, or prices are gonna come down. We don't know which way it's gonna be, maybe a combination of both of them, but in order to get more buyers back into the market pool, that spread has to tighten up. So with all these factors pointing towards maybe it's a good time to wait, maybe I shouldn't buy right now, is it a good time to buy for some people? And the answer would be yes. I'll tell you a few examples that might make sense. If you have a home in New York and you're looking to sell it and it's about a million dollars, you're going to find that if the market goes down 10%, you're going to be getting 100000 less. If you're looking to buy a home in Florida right now and it's 500000 if the market goes down 10%, it'll be four fifty. So you're saving 50000 there, but you're losing 100000 up here. So for some people, it just might make sense, despite all of this statistical nonsense that we've been talking about all along. And if you find a home that you love and it checks all the boxes for you and you want to move on with your life, then it is a great time to buy. However, let's keep an eye on the marketplace, the statistics, and to determine what time is right for you. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do so. Subscribe here, ring the bell, so you get notified anytime there's a new video out there. Thank you for joining me today on the Sunshine Johnny Real Estate Channel. If there's anything that I can help you with, let me know. And by the way, 1978 was also a great year. It's the year I got my real estate license. I've been doing this a heck of a long time. So if I can help you in any way in New York and in Florida, just let me know. I'm still in New York for three weeks out of the month. So I'm selling lots of properties here in the New York City area, and I'm helping my friends out in Florida also. If you want to check out more content about the New York to Florida real estate market, just click here. You might be interested in this video.